uh, strong practice session today, or maybe any impact from the weather? How did they do it out there? No, we were good. We were a lot better today than we were Tuesday. I thought they'd bounce back, get back in a routine. Just I challenged them a little bit. And we were very physical, a lot more at the point of attack. You know, both sides of the ball got after it, took care of each other, but uh, had a very competitive spirit in practice where you had. It was a lot of fun. Those are the kind of practices you wish every day was. Unfortunately, they're not. But today's one of those days. We're not anywhere near perfect, but uh, we were we were a way better football team today than we were Tuesday. We've talked about the receiver group a good bit already so far this spring. What does it do for the offense just to have the amount of speed that you have available at that position? Uh, we're excited about it. We are. I'm always scared to talk about it too much, just because you know transfer portal and somebody trying to steal my kids from me. Uh, but we're very excited about them. They work hard. They got a good group. Coach Price has done a really good job of developing and recruiting those kids. And uh, we're deep, as I've mentioned. And uh, it allows practices to run better because we can, you know, just rotate so many kids out there. Uh, you know, we, we got in that pattern there, you know, early where we played three kids, you know, quite a bit. And I really don't want to play that way. You know, the rest of our team has been very reflective of how I'd like to play by rotating a lot of players. Uh, but we've never been able to do that at the receiver position. We got more that way last year, and we're going to really be headed that way from now on, we think. Coach, how is it with uh, for the quarterbacks having to adjust to so many different receivers? How important is spring to make sure that they have that connection? Yeah, and them staying healthy. You know, that's what's going to be important. They stay healthy so they can keep that those reps where they're used to getting that work with those guys, to your point. Uh, and that's just, you know, you'll just you'll learn as you do it that uh, certain kids are better at certain routes, and those those quarterbacks will eventually learn that, and we'll get all that down as play callers as well. You mentioned you have a lot of sprinters in there. Who is the fastest guy in that unit? That's a great question. They'd all argue about that, but I'd, I'd love to see McCoy and Carpenter and McEwen. Um, you know, I'd like to see that race. It'd be a heck of a race. We talked some about Willie the other day, but what do you anticipate for him on the field next year? What are the ways you can kind of step forward? I, I just think his ability to make plays is coming. Uh, you saw that a little bit last year, but battled through so many injuries last year, and nothing he could help. I mean, he just had just one of those runs where he just couldn't couldn't help himself. And I, I'd love to see him stack some days of being healthy. He knows the offense now, and I, I think he could really be a good player. We're talking to Elliot Davison as well today. What jumps out when I mention him? What are the big things that come to mind that he brings to this team? Uh, IQ, character, work ethic. He's a stud. I mean, he's just a, a unique individual. Uh, teammate of Jamal Liggins in high school, they're, they're very similar in how they carry their business. And uh, he's won every competition so far on our Titan data. He's been the hardest working safety in every practice we've had so far. I'm always busting Ken on that because Ken's a great kid too, right? But it's hard to outwork Elliot. Do you think there's something that brings that out of him, or where does he get that motivation from? Oh, it's just us boys from the 903. It's all we know. Nah, no, I'm messing with you. Uh, he's got great parents. Uh, he's got really good people where he comes from. And uh, he's a proud, intelligent kid. So he's a, you'll enjoy talking to him. He, he's a really neat person. I know last year him and Ken sort of split the free safety position. It looked like, and now they're both out there together. Is somebody's responsibilities different? What's, who's kind of taking on the boundary role more than the other? Yeah. Um, Elliot's the one that's having to, you know, make the, the move. And uh, they both have played both positions. They're fine. I mean, there is some different responsibility being the, the field safety versus being the boundary safety. Uh, but they're both so intelligent. Ken and Elliot could play anywhere on the team and be fine. Is some of that just trying to get your best players on the field no matter what position? No doubt. It's always about getting the best guys on the field. Those two are the best ones. Now, we, we feel good about, you know, we brought in a safety that we feel good about in J. Lou. And uh, we're, we're still recruiting. And Bryce is working there as well. A kid we recruited last year at Washington State, a, a transfer. So uh, we've got to get probably another one in uh, and, and, and midterm and, and a couple of corners. We, we're going to be looking for that when it's time. <coughs> Excuse yeah, me. what's the state of the cornerback room at this point? It looks like a pretty light group out there today. We're light just in our numbers. We're, we've got to go get two more. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what we've got right now. And we'll be getting two more. And it's like I told you all, I'm not going to overreact. Uh, some of our better players we've gotten here, we brought in here in June. And uh, I'm just not going to panic. So we're going to stay true to our board. And uh, we'll go short before I'm going to take a bad player uh, in our evaluation. So. That's why I walk on to get scholarships.
because if you if you if you hit your number right, that shouldn't happen. But when you're giving out walk-on scholarships, you you, you didn't hit your number correctly. And uh, we'd rather stay true to our board and uh, bring in players we know that can help us win. You have a trip downtown a little bit. How special is that? Uh, today, you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mayor is always so wonderful to us. As much as we've tried to become the football team of San Antonio, they've embraced us back. And it's a true partnership uh, that he's provided for us, and city manager and Eric and all those guys, the, the judge. Those guys have all just been super to us. And city council, I mean, you name it, they've all just been the best. It's been a lot of fun. There are a few games we wish we had back in the last four years, obviously, but it's been a, a lot of fun. And uh, I expect the next four years to be as fun. We're going to be good again. What's it going to be like for you to see your seniors celebrated one more time? Yeah, uh, I'm happy for them. I had, you know, I love when they come see me and, I saw Rashad out there today at practice, you know. Those guys are always around. Pro days turned into a fun day. There were a lot of older guys here that played for us, and that's fun. And uh, it's the beauty of being in a place for a while. People will get comfortable. Uh, I remember when I left Gilmer, it was very important to me that they hired one of my assistants because it just makes the alumni, the guy, they feel at home when they come back and they know everybody. And, you know, we've all been together so long. It's just crazy going on year five and most of our coaches have been together for all this time so it's always good to see those guys and uh, they're, they're special. Coach uh, today's obviously the first day of the NCAA tournament you fill out a bracket this year? I don't just because I'm so terrified of the NCAA rules <laughs> I don't want anybody getting me for gambling so I don't even fill one out <laughs> don't even talk about it <laughs> my daughter asked me to help her with hers the other day and I went on this long tirade about how Brooke, who's in charge of compliance, had just sent us all an email reminding us not to be gambling, and my daughter rolled her eyes like, you're always so dramatic. I'm like, hey, get me. That's one of those things where Dr. Campbell doesn't have to pay me to fire me, so I'm not going to mess that one up. No bracket. No, I'm not going to tell you who I think going to win. I think right. you're supposed to root for Alabama this year, given the coaching thing. If that's legal, that's what I want to do, Greg. I'm not, not going to jeopardize anything. Go Austin. Go Austin. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.